Hi guys, it's me, Queen Wonderful. I'm here to do my pre-nursing video. I just finished two videos, one on spirituality, the other one on weight loss. And this is my third video, third and final video for today, y'all. I kind of want to just talk about what I'm doing and what has happened in my pre-nursing journey. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The school that I decided to go to in the fall, you know, um, my application process has already started. And uh, I'm feeling really good about it, y'all. I really am. So I'm just with my whole journey and as far as in my um, academic life, professional life, um, and you know, this is not your belief system, that's fine, but I'm just going to tell y'all, I put God first and I pray and he has given me the ability to do everything that I have done. Uh, I was told that I have a very good shot at getting in, but I'm claiming that I'm in in the name of Jesus. I am. Um, and my prayer partner's praying with me on it, you know, you know, and I was intimidated at first. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, when I first thought about this particular school, um, <coughs> gosh, excuse me. When I first thought about this particular school, I was very intimidated. I remember calling about it uh, because I went on allnurses.com and I was reading posts. And sometimes that's not a good thing, y'all. And a lot of people with bachelor's degrees and everything were uh, applying to this program and they weren't getting in, you know, but they may not have the healthcare experience and uh, their T scores may not have been good. I have 20 years of LVN experience, over 20 years, even though I haven't worked in the last few. Uh, God has blessed me to have a 4.0 GPA in my science. And what they look at is anatomy, physiology, one and two, or and anatomy and physiology. So that you can either take it both ways, as well as microbiology. And I got A's in all in classes, y'all. A's, and they weren't easy. My uh, anatomy and physiology and microbiology, they were eight week accelerated courses. And it was the Lord. I'm not going to give any credit to my own ability. I'm going to just say it was the Lord. And that gave me favor in them classes and blessed me. Hallelujah. I feel your spirit. And this is not supposed to be a spiritual video. <laughs> but I guess I cannot um, cut this part out of my life. Okay. So now what's new? Um, I got a praise report. Pre-nursing praise report. Y'all remember how I was just stressing out about that math and everything. It was taking a lot of my time too. Because I was in that math class as well as um, an online history class. And I'm going to tell you how awesome God is, y'all. For my pre-nursing students out there that are Christians, I'm going to tell you just... And nursing students, just lean on the Lord. He will get you through it. For all of y'all that's not, I don't know what to tell you. But for those of you who are, whew, you have him and he will get you through it in, in Jesus' name. Okay? So, um, <laughs> I got my train of thought. I'm just so caught up in the spirit right now. <laughs> Oh, back to the math part. Okay, so the math part. I was um, just spending way too much time in that math. Whew. And stressing out. I don't know why math makes me so tense. It just irritates me. And midway through, I've had my transcripts sent to the school, and the lady told me, look, You've already met the math and statistics requirements. And this is a uh, K-12 
California University. This is a university in the state of California. So I was like, what? Now, the community colleges out here where I live at, they were giving me all kinds of problems, telling me I had to take this other math and this, it was just crazy. But praise God, these people said, no, you don't have to take it. So you know what I did, y'all? I went ahead and I dropped that class right before the midterm. Sure did. I didn't care because I just, I said, okay, Lord, it's time for me to get started on my T's, my T's test. This is, what I, this is what this video is supposed to be about. I'm talking about this, that, and the other. Anyway, T's test. Yes. And that's what your girl is doing right now. Right now, I'm still in my history class, and so far, I have an A. Right before I dropped my math class. Now, mind you, I was telling y'all how math is my weak subject, this, that, and the other. But I'm going to tell you about the favor of the Lord. Honey, when I dropped that math class, you know what my overall score was? 90% an A. Yes. Not by my own ability. Mm -mm. By his ability. Yes, Lord. So now I'm in history. And history is a trip, y'all. Whew. the first half of the United States history. And you know, it is just so messy. I mean, my God, I'm learning about how, how they just, our forefathers just dogged out the Indians and the African slaves, the slaves. Woo, woo. I'm so glad I wasn't born during that time. Lord have mercy. You know, this is not your Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad and Martin Luther King type of African American history that they tell you about in, in um, grade school when you're in elementary, middle, or we call it junior high. And high school, new no, lordy, this college history is something else. There's a couple of times where I was like teary-eyed. I mean, it was just, God, I couldn't believe it. It's quite interesting. So I have to read um, the book of, about um, Frederick Douglass' life. So I need to go to the library and get that book because I have a paper to write. Uh, I just did a movie paper on Amistad, which was kind of interesting. But, okay, I'm going to spend the last few minutes talking about my T's exam. Okay, right now, this is May 1st. My T's is scheduled on June 26th, y'all. And uh, I have the GPA. I have the references. I have the, uh, the nursing or healthcare experience background. Everything is just lining up. These are the books that I have to help me practice. This is a brand new book, the second edition of the McGraw-Hill T's Practice Test. Okay, I haven't cracked open this book, but today I will. This is going to be my day one with this. I also have uh, the ATI Study Manual for the test of essential academic skills. And this is uh, by the people who, who made the, um, the T5 test. So I will also be studying this. And there is some math. So the good thing about the math though that I took y'all, it was a good review on equations and different things like that, algebra. So, except for we can't use a calculator on this test. So I'm gonna have to practice math without a calculator. In addition to, I have almost two months to study. And uh, my advisor was telling me uh, a competitive score would be in the upper 80s lower 90s y'all so I believe in God that I will get that score and uh, continue on my journey because I do want to go to this school the reason being is because it's only like um, a little bit over two years just a little bit over 
I would start in October and um, when I graduate I would be graduating with my bachelor's degree in nursing so with my BSN so that's what I am believing God for it's not that far away from my house okay it's about 30 minutes or so away from my house it's not bad and then uh, you're when you're in your clinicals you're gonna be I will be with a registered nurse you know with her one nurse one student for the whole shift and I think that's a really good experience it's a real good experience so um, I'll let you know how it's going and how I'm doing and everything I have to utilize my stopwatch when I'm practicing um, on my phone or the timer on my stove so that I can practice taking these tests and when I got this book right here is when I was doing um, the pre-nursing for Indiana State University and I bought it in a bundle I bought this as a matter of fact I need to call them today and I have the uh, I purchased the two practice exams so I'm gonna call them today and uh, see if they can activate it reactivate that and let me go ahead and take it and um, yeah that's it I guess um, so that's what I'm doing for my pre-nursing and um, I look forward to telling you guys I'm a nursing student you know I'm in the nursing program when I'm in the nursing program and uh, the journey there so anyway let me know what you think and your experiences and my timer is going off for my boiled eggs for breakfast all right so I will talk to you guys later and good luck in your studies god bless